I want to make this video quick. Um, it's night time, so I gotta keep my voice down. But the simulation theory, it's so logical. And I don't mean to be mean or anything to anyone that thinks differently. But everyone else, like, they believe that the spiritual is this, like, woo-woo, mystical, outside-of-science, supernatural, paranormal type thing, right? And I used to be like that. Now I'm starting to think that spirituality, it, it's in science. Like, they, they twine with, they, the, 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 like, they go, they coexist, basically. And it can be ex explained logically, like, the simulation argument, it, it, uh, I have some notes down written. Um, it an it answers the God question. There's a programmer or programmers. It answers the afterlife question. You know, we live on. Um, I do believe there's a God or maybe more than one God because people keep coming back to life and they keep saying, I met God or I met the gods. Why is that? I know a lot of people are going to say, you know, the dopamine was going through the brain and the chemicals and that's why they hallucinated and I don't buy that, but whatever. Because if they were hallucinating, why didn't anyone say, oh, I died and I saw my Lord and Savior Shrek or something weird? If it was truly hallucinations, why does it always have common themes like meeting Jesus or God? Like Yahweh. I never hear anyone said, yeah, I met a talking mouse. Yeah, the afterlife. Um, people, they come back, they have a near-death experience, they come back to life, and they were, they said they were in another realm, so the simulation answers that. Okay, so people are going to make fun of this, but go ghosts, like spirits, they're in spectator mode. And if you don't know what spectator mode like, if you don't know what that is, if you're not a gamer in video games, like in Minecraft, or I think in some other games. Uh, I looked up spectator mode, and it seems as though Minecraft is a good example of that. But, yeah, spectator mode is like, you can fly around. Well, the Google search results said... It's when in a video game, in a video game, like when it comes to video games, it means that you're flying around, but you're not interfering with the world. I don't agree with that. I think there were some game. I think there were some video games where you could spectate, like you could fly around and interact with the world, I think. In Minecraft, I think you can do both. I, I, do, I haven't played Minecraft in years, but I'm pretty sure you can fly around and place blocks, I think. But I don't know, I don't know. It basically, it just means you fly around, and I believe that. I know it sounds silly, and you need to go see a psychiatrist. I know people are going to say that, but... Um, no, it just it, it makes logical sense if we were in a simulation. Has nothing to do with the woo woo outside of science. It's something outside of science. It's supernatural. It goes against science. No, it has nothing to do with that. So that's logically explained. Um, yeah. It, someone said this. Let me know who said this. Was this Albert Einstein? Let me know. Someone said energy cannot be created nor destroyed. So therefore, if we were atoms before birth, why, who's this, like, if we were, basically what I'm trying to say is, if we were energy before we were born, why is it crazy to say, um, why is it, um, weird to say we will become energy again after death? Like, why is that weird or mentally out there like you know i don't think that's mentally out there i will decease and when i decease i will be energy in the air i don't see why that's so fucking weird or whatever skeptics like to whatever i'm not a christian or hindu or any of that but i'm just saying this is logical if it's a simulation it, that's logical you just escaped 
your avatar. That's all that it means. In reincarnation, you get a new one. In video games, respawning. However, usually when you respawn in video games, you respawn as the same person. But reincarnation, obviously, I I can't reincarnate as this body, this name. Like if I like if I decease, I'm not gonna be Johnny again with this body, with this voice. Like I'll be so basically, it's kind of basically what I'm trying to say is it's it's kind of like respawn in video games. Only reincarnation is, it's basically like. It's basically like you you lost the the. Uh, it's basically like how am I trying to say? You lost, you lose, you, you the game is over, and you gotta create a new character, like you know, like Saints Row. Um, even though Saints Row is do, not do, not doing well right now, it is this is twenty twenty two as I'm recording this, but you know it's kind of like that. You create have to create a new character, whatever. It's whatever. It's whatever. It's whatever. Um, so yeah, near death people they say the the they see God or the gods. I already talked about that, but also they speak of a life review. The near death experience people they see the life flash before their eyes. For some people, it's like a memory, which I guess could be logically explained, scientifically explained, whatever. It's just your mind racing. I get that. I get that. But there's some people that claim that they see the life flash before their eyes on a screen like it's projected it's being shown to them by god or the gods or whatever and i find that odd like some guy said he saw it on a screen or someone else said it was like a projection or like in a something i find that weird that's why i that's another reason why i believe we live in a simulation because why are people having that what you know one person said it wasn't memories that I was remember. Like they said, I wasn't remembering memories. It was memories actually. Like they, they said, it wasn't my... What did they... Like, they said something like, it wasn't them... This near-death person... I'm sorry if I'm stumbling. The, this near-death person, they said, it wasn't them remembering the memories. It was like shown to them, played back, if you know what I mean. Goes back to the whole memories on a screen thing. Like it wasn't them remembering, it was it being projected, played backwards or something. Like you know what I mean? I don't know. Like rewinding? I don't know. But that's the best way I could put it. But yeah. And like I said, I'm not a Christian, I'm not religious, and I'm not atheist. I respect your beliefs, but this is what I believe. You know, I don't know if anyone believes in this. Someone commented, "You're a rare individual." Yeah, because I'm not Christian. I'm not religious, or I'm not. I'm not religious. I'm not atheist. There has to be people like me out there. This makes sense. Oh, and another thing too is the simulation. It falls within the scientific method. It fits within the scientific method. It doesn't go outside of the scientific method. It's not paranormal. It's not supernatural. It's not mystical, woo woo, ghost, woo bullshit. Right? I, 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 you know, I, I get these freaking people that make fun of me. I mean, I, I, I'm not even going to name drop anyone or bring up the witty little funny comments that they do on my videos on my ghost videos, or on my simulation videos, I'm not even gonna say the jokes that they say. Well, basically, no, they, that's why I don't even like calling these, I don't, that's why I don't like saying the word ghost. I like saying spirit, or mind, or consciousness, because when you say ghost, people, like I said, they get this Hollywood bullshit, woo-woo mysticism, where they think it's unscientific. That's why I hate saying the word ghost. I wish there was a better word for it energy i don't know because they, they like to make these fucking hollywood jokes and make these mo these movie references and they have to delete their comments or they say that my videos are fake or whatever it's just bullshit it's like i believe in fucking energy okay the ghosts are the energy it's the consciousness it's the atoms it's the neutrons it's whatever the fuck i don't know i dropped out of high school it's, it's whatever the hell protein, whatever the fuck. I don't know. That's what I believe. It's math. It's the math. 
It's the string. It's the string. I don't know. It's whatever. The vibrations. I don't know. But I the simulation theory. It fall. It it does. Like I said. It it. Because I'm not hating or anything, but I hate to name drop. Okay, so I'm not hating. I hate to name drop, but the whole New Age, like, let's take New Age, for example. Let's take New Age, for example. They say, like, their beliefs are outside of science. Like, you know what I mean? Like, crystal balls and crystals and the vibrations and the mystical woo-woo, ghost, reincarnation, whatever the hell they think, right? And that's fine, but it, it you could believe that, but it, it, um, well, people could say it's ironic how you say, um, because people could be like, didn't you say in the beginning of this video that spirituality and science can coexist, and now at the end of the video it sounds like you're saying they can't? Well, I take back what I said in the in in the in the beginning of the video. Spirituality and science cannot coexist. I think I'm thinking of a different type of spiritual. I don't know. I don't know. Because fuck what I said in the beginning about spirituality and science coexisting. They cannot. Fuck what I said in the in the intro. I think I said spirituality, but I think I'm. I'm thinking of one thing, but I can't put a label on it, so I said spirituality, but that's not what I actually mean. Basic, basically, what I'm, I know people are going to criticize, and a cosmic skeptic or some kind of Charles Darwin or some kind of someone's going to come on YouTube and reply to this video, reply to this, I'm going to get the little minion subscriber hiss in the comments, like leafy clones or whatever. Like, I'm going to get the little minion subscribers to criticize me and make fun of me. The amazing atheist, whatever, but I don't know. Basically, what I'm trying to fucking get at is that if you're talking about new age mysticism, woo woo spirituality that's outside of science, it's paranormal, it's supernatural, then yes, spirituality and science cannot coexist. That's what that's what I mean. But if you mean spiritual, like, if you mean spiritual as in, like, the simulation, I don't know what I'm trying to fucking get at. I'm, I'm kind of ruining this fucking video, because this video is going to get criticized to hell now. Because I was doing so good, I was so, I was doing so good with my points, and then I said something stupid in the beginning of this video, and it kind of ruined this whole entire video. But basically, fuck it. Fuck what I said in the intro. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm just going to crack myself and say that... The crystal ball, like I said, this the supernatural outside of science crystal ball woo woo spiritual mysticism cannot coexist with science. I do believe that. I do believe they cannot. But if you're talking about something weird, maybe that's what the word I was looking for. If you if you're talking about something weird like the simulation, I guess, sci I think sci-fi was the word, I think sci-fi was the word that I was actually looking for. Sci-fi and science can coexist. I don't know if that's the right word I'm looking for. I don't know, basically what I'm trying to fucking get at, let me just, this video, this video is getting too fucking long. It's gonna get criticized to hell. Too many fucking video replies by whatever. Basically what I'm trying to fucking get at is that if like, God the afterlife, it's all logical if you believe that we live in a simulation. It's all logical. You know? The only way it would be logical, like, the only way it would still, f because it's logical because it fits under the scientific method, but people could, so people could be like, oh, so that's the only way? That's the only way. To be honest, to be honest, there's, there's actually another way, like, maybe we're not in a simulation at all. Like, it's possible that there could still logically be a god in an afterlife, or gods in an afterlife, or afterlives. There could still be a logical explanation for it, without us being in a simulation, and that is the multiple dimensions theory. Because if there's multiple dimensions, that means a god or the gods or in, in, in some higher dimension. Same thing in, in the afterlife, 
or afterlives. That's just an ascension to another dimension. <laughs> that rhymed, but yeah, that's, that's the only... But other than that, the golden... Not to shit on anyone's beliefs or anything, but the golden gate bridge in the clouds or whatever... The, the 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 Goldilocks whatever the fuck in the clouds the golden g- gates or whatever the hell you believe in that's unrealistic the puppies the unicorns the fairy pixie dust that's unrealistic the fire brimstone I don't believe in that um I don't know that's unless the fire brimstone meaning that when we die we go to the sun because that's the that's another theory is that all these people that say they had hellish visions, they probably went to the sun after death, which is somewhat of a stretch of an idea. But I mean, it makes logical sense to me. But I'm probably gonna end this because it's too fucking long. I'm sorry. I this video will get criticized because well, this video will get criticized because number one, people don't fucking believe in the simulation, so they're gonna they're gonna use every power they can to debunk the simulation argument and they're gonna debunk it because you didn't use like detailed points like what about the error correcting codes that one physicist talked about or some kind of whatever or the 3.14 whatever the fuck that I did not mention some pi equation and of course people are gonna criticize this video because I fucked up the fucking intro by saying spirituality and science can coexist um if your definition of spirituality is we live in a simulation and ghosts can be logically explained by us being in spectator mode, then yes, I mean that spirituality. But if you mean spirituality as in like a white, well, I do believe ghosts are actually white, but because I've seen them on camera. But you know, if you're talking about like it's outside of science, it breaks the laws of science and math and stuff. If you mean that kind of spirituality, the crystal balls, magic candle, rituals, casting a spell, Elsa Crowley bullshit, then no. That's just hogwash, right? We don't live in that. Well, some people do mentally, but whatever. I'm going to end this video. This is what I think. I could be wrong. I don't know. Maybe heaven is the correct way. Maybe we... I don't believe we die and that's it, but this video is getting too fucking long. I'm in this. This is whatever. This is how I tried my best to logically explain it. If you don't want, if you don't like it, too bad. This is the end.